Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're investigating what's that smell? We're in one of the forward birthing compartments on Battleship New Jersey, which are the first spaces that guests enter when they're on their tour. A pretty common reaction from a large majority of them are uh, some comment about the smell as soon as they come into the ship. Uh, this has always amazed and surprised me because, uh, well, a couple of things. One, I don't smell it. I, I've been working on museum ships for 15 years now. I've worked on five of them at this point. I, I don't really uh, smell anything when I come on board. And that said, my roommates and my significant other certainly smell it when I come home from work, so... I don't know. Uh, plus, this ship has not been active for over 30 years. Uh, and she is kept very clean, so I'm always amazed that, that people think that they smell something and that it smells weird. So we're going to discuss a couple of the more odorous products that uh, are on board a battleship. Um, yeah, so like I said before, I've worked on five different museum ships. Um, I've, I've heard this from guests on all of them. My co-workers in the Historic Naval Ships community have also uh, expressed uh, that, that they hear those questions all the time. In fact, uh, my buddy Tim on the Destroyer Kid is the one who came up with the idea for this video. So, what combination of things make ships smell unique. Uh, and for those of you who have never been on a museum ship, what the heck are you doing? Um, I've heard people describe it as the smell of crayons. Uh, I, I've heard people describe it as the smell of, uh, like when you open a box of raisins. I, I've heard people describe the smell as diesel fuel. Um, and I've heard other people say it just smells like body odor. So probably some combination of those you mix together and, and uh, that's what it smells like to be on a museum ship. And uh, to a slightly different extent, an active duty ship. Uh, active duty ships have a smell all their own as well, uh, but I think it's a little bit different than the smell of museum ships because I do notice it when I go on an active ship. Uh, and I, I just don't when I'm here, and I'm here several days a week, so uh, maybe I've grown nose blind to it. So, um, fuel is probably a big factor. Battleship New Jersey carries somewhere around 2.4 million gallons of fuel. Uh, in the 80s, that is uh, basically a, a marine diesel, so uh, perhaps that's what it is. On submarines, the smell is extremely concentrated and uh, those ships are also diesel powered. Uh, but there are also very small enclosed spaces recirculating air, so who knows what's going on there. Uh, the fuel tanks are accessed uh, primarily from inside the ship. There are manholes to get there. These manholes all have gaskets on them and should be sealed up tightly. Uh, and I should mention that I've been on museum ships that practice the theory of sealing all of your spaces that are off the tour route uh, in the idea that if there's no moving air down there, it's going to arrest corrosion. And I've been on museum ships like Battleship New Jersey, where the theory is that you open absolutely all of your spaces to ventilate them so that you don't get like mold and other things like that happening in poorly ventilated spaces. Uh, so both of these are valid theories. Museum ships haven't lasted long enough for us to say, this one's better than that one. Uh, but the smell doesn't seem to be any different whether all of the former fuel tanks are open or sealed. So it's, it's just the smell you have in the living spaces. You have to keep in mind that Battleship New Jersey was the home for around 2,000 guys on average for decades. So these guys are on board with smells all their own. The ship has a number of bathrooms on board in, in the double digits somewhere. Um, you know, there's laundry bins all over the ship. Showering was more of a luxury than a privilege. Uh, so 
There, there was probably an amount of uh, body odor associated with it. Anyone who's ever eaten ginger pot roast knows that there was an amount of flatulence associated with living on a ship. Uh, throughout much of the ship's career, smoking on board was the norm. So you've got that mixed in. Another component on some ships may be bilge water. Uh, the, the various fluids, I won't even call them all water, that uh, collect in the bottom of the ship and sometimes have things growing and living on them. Um, many museum ships do not have that issue, but uh, you know, when, when water sits in an area stagnant, you get a certain smell. The harbor water has its own smell. The, the mold that grows on it has a smell. The corrosion being caused by it, the oxidation of metal has a smell. Uh, so, so that all adds to it. Uh, but again, even on ships like New Jersey, where we've got no active leaks uh, and our bilges are bone dry, there's still a smell on board. But part of the smell is probably also all of the paint that's been used on board. And granted, ships can be sealed up almost entirely airtight. They're designed to be watertight and therefore airtight under general quarters. So it seems like even all these years later, after all this ventilation, the smell is stuck in here. Uh, and it's hard to say what it's attached to, because it's a battleship. All the surfaces are uh, a very hard, metallic, and unporous. You'll notice we've got a bunch of uh, fabrics out right now, like the, uh, the blankets and curtains and things for the beds. But those have all been added by the museum, and relatively recently at that. The, the smell was here when the ship was opened up to start the restoration process, and even after all the years of operating and cleaning the ship, the smell is still here. So you got fuel, you got paint, you got body odor and uh, laundry, and of course, smoking. And all of these things combined uh, seem to have blended together into a smell that is fairly consistent and unique. And uh, to many people, myself included, smells like home. So have you ever noticed the smell before, either on an active ship or a museum ship. What do you think it smells like? Let us know in the comments section down below. I I'm really had issues at the beginning of this video describing it, uh, and most of those descriptors came from children uh, and what they just say off the top of their head. And I'm not sure I uh, notice the same smell that they do. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State and also from a number of other businesses and private individuals. If you'd like to support us also, there's a link in the description for ways you can do that. There's also a link in the description to the ship's store, which houses uh, a number of uh, objects you can buy on board the ship. So if you buy from our ship's store online, we'll ship the battleship smell to you along with that object free of charge. Uh, if I might recommend buying some of the battleship teak that we've been ripping up, Teak, of course, has a, a very unique smell of its own, and uh, when you blend that with Eau de, de Battleship, uh, it creates quite a perfume. You can also support the Battleship by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thanks for watching.